today what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 21. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us today. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us, our vehicles, others, their vehicles, and our loved ones in their vehicles, and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations. Send down our guardian angel to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you've called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, and or listening to, show us that person. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you right now. Take, um, we pray against any attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, and everyone listening today. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, everyone listening today, our leaders, our loved ones in the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, everyone listening today, our loved ones, our leaders, and the world. We pray, Lord, that you give our leaders, us, our loved ones in the world, godly and divine wisdom to make the right choices and decisions today. And we pray that you show mercy on us and heal our land. We ask, come to you on repentance and ask for forgiveness of each and every sin that we've committed against you and or others and or ourselves, whether it be in word, thought, and or action, as we forgive those who sinned against us, Lord. We pray for anyone listening today and also our enemies that has not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior, that they do so now before it's too late. We pray John 3, 16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten son that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through the perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for us and the sins of the world. For those that choose to accept this free gift of grace will enter the kingdom of heaven someday. Those that choose to refuse and reject this will enter hell. And we don't want anybody to go to hell. So we pray that everyone accepts this free gift of grace before it's too late. We thank you, Lord, for this person that accepted you and their, as their Lord and Savior today. Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. Um, help them to get into prayer with you each and every day. That's just talking to you, listening for your voice so they can um, grow in you and learn more about you and just fall in love with you like I am. And also to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. So they get discern between the truth and the lies and the truth will set them free. Lord, I thank you for everyone you're bringing to this channel. It's a God divine appointment that you're here. God wants you to know that he loves you so deep. He sent you to this channel so you can feel his love. And he wants to cure any and all diseases through you right now. He wants to heal all these hurts that people have left on you, scars that are been put placed on you, and just things that were never meant to be for you. God wants to take off of you and show you his love, mercy, and grace. Thank you for everyone listening today. In Jesus' mighty name and all God's people said, 
Amen. All right. Let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 21. So if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn them to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 21 and we'll get started. Thank you. If one be found slain in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee to possess it, lying in the field, and it be not known who hath slain him, then thy elders and thy judges shall come forth, and they shall measure unto the cities which are round about him that is slain. And it shall be that the city which is next unto the slain man, even the elders of that city shall take a heifer, which hath not been wrought with, and which hath not drawn in the yoke. And the elders of that city shall bring down the heifer into a rough valley, which is neither eared nor sown, and shall strike off the heifer's neck there in the valley. And the priests, the sons of Levi, shall come near, for them the Lord thy God hath chosen to minister unto him, and to bless in the name of the Lord. And by their word shall every controversy and every stroke be tried. And all the elders of that city that are next unto the slain man shall wash their hands over the heifer that is beheaded in the valley. And they shall answer and say, our hands have not shed this blood, neither have our eyes seen it. Be merciful, O Lord, unto thy people Israel, whom thou hast redeemed, and lay not innocent blood unto thy people of Israel's charge, and the blood shall be forgiven them. So shalt thou put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. When thou goest forth to war against thy enemies, and the Lord thy God hath delivered them into thy hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman, and hast a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife, then thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head and pare her nails, and she shall put the remnant of her captivity from off of her, and shall remain in thy house, and bewail her father and her mother a full month. And after that thou shalt go in unto her, and be her husband, and she shall be his thy wife. And it shall be. If thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go whither she will, but thou shalt not sell her at all for money. Thou shalt not make merchandise of her, because thou hast humbled her. If a man have two wives, one beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated, and if the firstborn son be hers that was hated, then it shall be, when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn, by giving him a double portion of all that he hath, for he is the beginning of his strength. The right of the firstborn is his. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him will not hearken unto them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out into the elders of his city and unto the gates of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of his city, This is our son, is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shalt thou put away evil from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be to put to death, and thou hang him on a tree. His body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is accursed of God, that thy land be not defiled, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 21. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it. Um, as we go into the weekend, let's just make sure that we're just growing closer to the Lord as we give God a day of rest um, and focus on Him and our lives and the things that we're doing, maybe that aren't pleasing to Him or need to be changed. Ask Him for help to get change those things in our life that can be displeasing to Him so we can grow closer to Him and not have anything in between us and Him. And so I want to encourage you in that. 
to draw closer to him, he'll draw closer to you. Until next time, bye.